All right, this is part two of Blender Challenge 10 modeling supermarket product, and I'll probably do a couple of different products. First, what I'm going to do is a spray can of some sort or aerosol can, and uh, there are a lot of different images on the internet that you can use. I'm going to use uh, this front view right here, uh, but I've got some other ones that we'll probably refer to as we go along. I brought my reference image into Blender, and I've got my 3D cursor right at the bottom and relatively centered, and I'm going to start with the cylinder. I'm just going to leave the default values, go into edit mode, and I'm in wireframe, and I'm going to press S to scale and get the approximate size. I'm going to press 1 for vertex selection, and uh, box select the bottom. I'm going to pull it down, and there is a small sort of indent at the bottom of these cans, so I might accentuate that. I'll come down to about there, press E to extrude, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to press S, and I'm just going to pull it in slightly like that. Press E to extrude, S and scale it out, E, and come down to about there. Let's leave that for now. Press B to box select, grab all of this, and pull it up. And we do the same thing near the top. You can't exactly tell where it is always in these images, and so because there's so many different styles of these, you can do whatever you want. Then press E to extrude. I'm going to come up and I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm going to hold shift to move a bit slower than that. And I'll do something like that. Press E and S and come out. I'm holding shift so I can move a bit slower. Okay, E and come up straight. And from here, it's a little bit hard to tell what's going to happen. So I'll switch over and look at another view. So what we've got is this right here. All right, so we've done this. So as you can see, it comes in and then it dips down quite far and then it comes out and then there's gonna be a hole and this thing's gonna fit on. We're gonna do this piece here, all of these, these pieces and this together. And uh, there's another piece here. So we'll just go ahead and, and make something happen here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press E and S and I'm gonna come in a little ways, turn it, I don't want it too thick. We'll do something like this. E and I'm going to come down a little ways and let's look from the front and uh, I think we'll just start again from there. E and S will come in until it's about matching the diameter of that and then we'll just start uh, coming up. So press E, let's come up and see where we're at. Okay, to about here. Let's try that. Let's come up again and scale it in. We may go back and touch that up. We probably will. And then we're just going to start making this rounded part. So we'll just come up and scale it in periodically. Relatively even number of polys if I can, or even size of polys. Not that, that, that important. So we'll have that. And then we'll come up here. I'll do another one. And then we'll come up straight for a little bit. Okay. And then we'll come out and up. And then we'll come, I'll come up uh, straight, I think. And, okay, so there'd be that piece and then this one would fit over it. But we'll just go ahead and we'll just build it together. So I'm gonna come out like this. And I'm gonna come up to here. And I'll come up and I'll scale it in. And I just want to have a look at my reference picture again. So building this thing, and then it's gonna come down, and then this piece would fit in. There'd be a hole in this metal part, but we'll, we won't bother to do that. Let's just look from the front. Uh, okay, so let's say we'll come up, say one more scale it in and then I'm going to E and S and come in like this and let's just build the whole thing right now and then we'll uh, we'll touch it up and you come up to the top and bend it in like this I'm going to go into solid view and have a look at what I've got I'm definitely going to have to do a little bit of work in here which is totally fine let's hide the empty which is the image, okay? So what I want to do is, 
I want to in face selection I want to get rid of these actually these faces I want this piece here select that edge to come down I want that to be a separate piece that would fit on and I want this piece I'm going to shift alt and click this edge to go E and S I'll come in just a little bit E and come down and I'm going to take with that edge selected I'm going to shift alt and click that and control E bridge edge loops so that it'll fit in there okay let's throw on a subdivision surface and just have a look at this we'll come into the top and we'll delete that face first of all and see where the front of this is okay I'm going to shift alt and click that upper edge look from the side and I'm going to rotate it like this a little bit good Shift Alt and click this edge again, and I'm going to choose face grid fill. I'm going to look from the top, so the front is right here, and I want these lines facing frontwards. So I'm going to come down to grid fill, and I'm going to adjust the offset. I'm just going to keep clicking until it's straight. There we go. That's what I want right there. Okay. Look from the top again. Press one for vertex selection. I'm going to box select all of these and then look from the front. I'm going to go into proportional editing and press pull down like this. And it can scroll your mouse wheel up or down. And I just want a little indentation like this. We'll come back to here in a moment. We'll have a little bit of work to do. Let's come down to the bottom here. We'll select this face. I to inset, pull it in just a little ways like this. I to inset again, we'll pull it into about here with proportional editing on. I still have it on. I'm just going to pull this up. I'm going to bring my mouse, scroll my mouse wheel up a little bit more to about there. And we'll pull that up. And it'll look like that. Okay. I'm going to select this face one more time and I'd inset and just do that. And that's going to be okay. We're barely going to see the bottom. Let's put a few edge loops down here. What I'm going to do is control R, put a pull an edge loop up here and down there. Take another edge loop, bring it in here and pull it down near the bottom. So we'll accentuate that curve there. I'm going to do another edge loop up here up near the top. We do an edge loop here and here. Okay, so this is the part that goes in. That's great. We're going to bring an edge loop, say, down here. And that looks okay. I might want to sharpen this up with an edge loop right here. And just sort of scanning it coming up that looks okay maybe we'll do one here because this would be a separate piece and then this would click on maybe we'll do one there and this piece we definitely need to do some work on here I think what I'm going to do is um, what am I going to do I think I'm going to take this and pull oh, let me turn off it I think I'm going to pull that up. I think I'm going to like that better. And sharpen it down near the bottom with an edge loop. So it looks like it's sort of rounded and it comes in. I can take this and scale it in even. And this part here, I think I'm going to pull down a bit. And I'll bring an edge loop down there. So I start to get that effect and it looks a little bit like this is a separate piece however I need to create some definition for this and I'm just going to bring an edge loop down there I'll bring an edge loop right about there and down here and up and let's see if that's all we need that one might be a little tight so this piece would have the tube and it would fit on uh, to this piece which I'm still not convinced about um, I might push it down a bit more it's probably 
probably okay. I mean, you know, if you looked at it, you would say it's a spray can. Yeah. But, um, pushing it through about here. And that's the basic form of the spray can right there. I'm just debating if this is wide enough. I might turn off the subdivision surface and have a look here and select. And I think the way I'll do it is in wireframe, grab a bit of this and then just press control plus and keep coming out until I get to the bottom of this piece, just like that. And I might scale shift Z and just pull it out. So it looks like it fits in, it's a little bit bigger. I'm off the diagram. Now, while I have that selected, this is gonna have a different material on it. So I might go ahead and, and create a material and call this like spray can top. I need to do a heck of a lot more. The whole thing will have that, but in fact, let's just assign that. And let's go control one. And let's create a new material and go spray can, spray can body. It's not all gonna be the same in a sign. So these have got two materials there. This this one is gonna have the top material. Uh, and the body is gonna be really down there. Let's put that back on. And um, we're gonna have a few different materials, but that's good enough for the moment. And now let's shift A mesh, bring in another cylinder. I'm not gonna worry about my the number of you know, vertices and stuff. We're just gonna bring that in, scale it down, bring it up to the top to make the nozzle. Let's rotate this 90. Pull it in something like that. Okay, I'll pull it out. I'm gonna get rid of the back. And I'm gonna take this piece here, press I to inset, bring it in quite far, E to extrude and pull it back. And I'll, I will put a subdivision surface on this just cause I'm not gonna you know, make it a real big scene or anything. So I'm just gonna put some edge loops here and there to tighten it up. All right, and then we'll come in and select that face and I to inset, do that. I'll pull one, one more down there and I'll have that. All right, set the origin of geometry on this piece. Pull it in. Be careful that you don't know, pull it in so far that you know you start seeing the, the top. Let's pull the all right. All right, so we got that. Just position it where you where you like. And that's that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna decide if this is comes out far enough. Uh, there's different styles of these things. Looks like it might come out a little bit further. There's a nice gap here. And I think maybe I want it a little bit out further. So I'm going to come into here. I'll turn off subdivision so I can see my edges. And I'm going to... You know what I might do? I might do the same trick I did a minute ago. Wireframe. Box select a bit of it and start. Control plus all down here. Right. Control plus to there. One more control plus and then let's scale shift Z. Pull it out to something like that. Now the top's even bigger. But, oh well, it's okay. Turn that back on and take this and just position it a bit better. So I'm off the diagram but I don't, I don't need it. It doesn't matter. It's a spray can. Okay, let's have a look at it with a matte cap on and maybe cavity shading. One thing we should do is just check the face orientation, make sure everything is facing outwards, which it is. Okay. And there is my spray can. Okay, that's fine for this video and the next one will do some materials.